100, identify the molecules with a dipole moment. And then we have CH3Cl. Okay, so does CH3Cl have a dipole moment? Well, let's figure it out. What is a dipole moment? Well, good question. A dipole moment is basically when your molecule as a whole has an unequal pull of electrons to one side. So we always think about this in terms of like, you know, tug of war, where two people are battling it out to gain that rope. And when everything is in the middle, right, at the start of, you know, the tug of war battle, right, the, the rope is right directly in the middle, everything is symmetrical, they're not pulling, so everything's cool. But then once the game starts and maybe one person is just, you know, a complete baddie <laughs> and um, takes, takes the rope right away, away, that's an unequal pull. Clearly, one element is favoring the rope over the other. And that's the same thing that can be seen with elements, where the more electronegative element is greedy and it pulls, that's the baddie, it pulls the electrons away from the rest of the molecule. So in order to have a dipole moment, you have to have that unequal distribution, but you have to have a polar molecule. In polar molecules, you will have those baddies that will... Um, molecule that will take electrons from the rest of the compound. But the thing is, is that, eh, I mean, maybe I can make an estimated guess as to if this is polar or nonpolar, but always just take a few seconds and draw the Lewis structure out. Now there's tons of videos on this channel just designated to teaching you how to draw the Lewis structures. We go step by step and I'm there every step of the way for you guys there. Um, but this one, since we're learning about dipole moments, um, you can pause the video if you want and try to draw out the Lewis structure for CH3Cl and then see if it matches mine. So in this case, remember hydrogen's never in the middle and the least electronegative element is in the middle. Chlorine is more electronegative than carbon. So carbon in the middle surrounded by the three hydrogens and it doesn't really matter, you know, where the three hydrogens are. Can you put them here? Sure. Could you have put them on this side? Sure. One, two, three up top, one, two, three on the bottom. It doesn't matter. And then we'll add the chlorine. Now all the hydrogens have a single bond because that's all they can do. They just have single bonds. And the chlorine has a single bond as well, giving the carbon the octet. And then you got the six electrons around the chlorine. Okay, so now you say to yourself, is this a polar molecule or is this apolar? Apolar? <laughs> Nonpolar. <laughs> ah, gotta love it. But anyway, snap it out. S-N-A-P. If you have a completely symmetrical molecule, you are nonpolar. And then if you're a nonpolar molecule, you have no dipole. Only when you have a symmetri or a asymmetrical molecule, Will you be classified as a polar molecule? And that one has the dipole moment, the unequal pull. So you can think about this in terms of like cutting a pizza where you got four slices. If you're nonpolar, all those slices, they gotta be the same. So if I make a cut here, whoa, if I make a cut here and I make a cut here, here are my four slices. I got a hydrogen, I got a hydrogen, I got a hydrogen, but then I got a chlorine. That is not symmetrical. This is totally asymmetrical. And since the chlorine is more electronegative, it's going to pull the electrons towards itself. What a baddie. <laughs> But anyway, asymmetrical means that you have a polar molecule, and that's what we got here because of the chlorine. And since you got that, you know that you have a dipole moment, that unequal sharing of electrons. And that's the end of the day. That's the end of the video. It's not the end of the day. I got to do at least, at least a hundred more videos. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for viewing the video, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Keep working hard and always keep learning. 
That's why we got thousands of videos on the channel at the moment to help you guys succeed in your classes. We got physics and math videos on the moment on the channel as well as chem with more subjects coming your way. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.